Whenever I just jump in with a story, it's normally bad news. Um, the last I, I, time um, that you did this, you mentioned a vibrator on stage, so we're actually not, <laughs> just to prepare yourselves, please. It's not that bad, it's not that bad. It's another story about Simon Cowell that, um, that some of you might not actually know. So, as you know, for the final of Britain's Got Talent, we all sang, well, we didn't all sing stars. Uh, we sang stars, um, but originally we were going to do Somewhere Over the Rainbow for our final performance. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a lovely song. Um, and Simon came in and he said, I don't want you to sing Over the Rainbow, I want you to sing Stars again. And we went, but we want to do Over the Rainbow. So we compromised, and we did Stars. <laughs> um, but it was the right choice, obviously it was the right choice, because... Uh, it was Stars with the key change and lots of drums, oh, which yes. is Simon's thing. <laughs> yeah. That's it. And uh, you know, we're fast forwarding now. Um, so uh, your first album debuted at number one, the second debuted at number two. Uh, you, you've toured uh, extensively around the world. Um, you've worked with Barry Manilow. You've, you've worked with Cliff Richard. There's the Royal Variety performance. Um, you know, the, the list is, is kind of endless. Are there things that you would pick out as, as a highlight for each of you individually? That's interesting because I think we were nearly five years into our band ship, doesn't it? It's a band on a ship. Okay. Um, yeah. And we, we basically have done, have, when we think about it, done, it's mind-blowing how much stuff we've done, and we, we actually tend not to sit and go through it, because it would be quite shocking, I think, if we thought about it. But I think for me, I, I, the best thing for me is getting to travel. The travel is amazing, and you know, we've, done, we've done so much stuff. We've had number one records in Japan, uh, we did really well in the Philippines, we went out there early this year, um, but also we've done Canada, America, we've done, we've done so many fantastic places and the travel is definitely a, a highlight. I think a, mem a big memory for me was um, we'd just won the show and we were asked to go to uh, the Queen's Theatre, which is where Les Mis is, and we performed in the curtain call of the show, so obviously everybody came back on stage, they took a bow and then they, they parted and um, obviously split down the middle went both sides and we walked through and sang uh, Bring Them Home and Stars in the wow. Queen's Theatre so technically we've been on the West End. <laughs> we, we, yeah. We've done it Jamie. <laughs> we sang at that time, you know if you've ever been to the theatre and it's getting towards the end of Les Mis and you're going, oh I'm dying for a wee. <laughs> <laughs> and then we come out and sing two more songs. <laughs> Um, I think for me, I'll never forget, um, the first time we performed at the London Palladium was Sunday night at the Palladium. Um, Jason Manford was hosting and we sang Fly Me to the Moon with him. Um, but what actually happened was he was singing uh, a solo to start with a curtain down. So the first time we saw the audience was this curtain just came up and we were just stood there and I just I just remember that feeling of thinking, everyone stood up. It was we're so, <laughs> so nervous, but yet also this feels so right being on stage with these boys and doing this. So thank you all for letting us have this opportunity.